Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're going to be flying around in this really awesome jet, but we're not going to be flying around for long, and that is because this thing is rigged with an ejection seat that once you pop out of it, the whole plane explodes. It's really cool, and now that I say it out loud, this creation really doesn't make all that much sense, but I love explosions and I love jets in scrap mechanics, so this is going to be loads of fun, so let's check it out. Now I absolutely love this plane. I'm so happy with the design and how it turned out and using the wing mod to have all of the flight controls as well is absolutely amazing. Now I made this a little bit of time ago so I don't actually really remember what the design of the plane actually was. So bonus points to you guys if you can put in the comments what you think this plane was modeled after because I honestly don't remember but with the wing mod and the polygon mod you can really just make planes that look and function so good. Now to get into the plane I have a hole right here in the cockpit that you can actually just look down into and that bright orange thing right there that is your flight seat and also the ejection seat that you're gonna be sitting in once it gets released so as you can see though from the uh, exterior I love the plane like I said guys I don't even remember what it is modeled after but I just love planes and scrap mechanic and just this look right here I love being able to fly and I'm gonna turn on uh, strict follow cam for when we're flying alright so I'm gonna quickly go over the controls in this jet so one is your forward thrust that's what you're gonna use when you just want to go forward and you're flying normally you can also press W and that will give you a speed boost as well two and three is gonna control your pitch as you can see right here guys that is in the back controlling those right there and these are all the wing mod with actual flight control it's it's really fun to fly and then four is reverse maybe in case you get stuck uh, behind a tree or something and now five and six and seven these are the ones that are gonna be used for the ejection seat so I believe five is the switch that you press to release your cockpit uh, dome and then six is going to decouple your seat and launch you out of the plane and then seven is a really awesome parachute that will bring you back down to the ground safely. Anyway, that is enough chatting about this plane, guys. Let's take off and actually eject and see this thing explode. All right, so here we go, though. We're going to get to the end of the runway. Perfect. Now look at this, guys. This jet, it just feels serene to fly. There's something about it. I don't know what it is, but it just, it has such a smooth flight experience, and it looks so good as well. I, I usually try and uh, get one or the other, but in this case, it seems like I got both. But all right, here we go, guys. We're going to get ready for our first ejection. We're going to quickly release our front hood glass. There it is. And now we're going to turn the jet off. And now we have to press six. Oh, God. Okay, maybe turn that camera off. And then seven. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh no. All right, uh, you guys are gonna have to forgive me because I actually forgot how to use this creation. It's been that long since I've actually used the ejection seat. Uh, so I'm gonna say this as well if you guys get this on the Steam Workshop, just so you guys know as well. As soon as you decouple the seat from the jet, all of the flight control buttons and switches at the beginning there to the left, they actually disappear. So what happens is six and seven key become one and two. So you actually have to move your hand as soon as you eject down to one and two to be able to turn off that thruster as well as deploy your parachute. I totally forgot, guys. So let's get back into the air and we're going to try this again. All right, so here we go. It's going to be test number two. All right, so we have to break the glass off. There we go. Oh, geez, it hit us a bit. Turn the engines off. Press six and then one. There we go. And now press two and there's our parachute. All right, perfect. Now look, there it is, guys. The plane is going down. But look at that we're actually safe and sound because we ejected from it and now we have a parachute now uh, it obviously I mean we did that to our own plane I mean why would we do that it doesn't matter though because this is so much fun to be able to eject from the plane watch it blow up as you're coming down safely with the parachute uh, so let's try that again though except this time I want to get a little bit higher up into the air all right here we go guys I am much higher this time so we're gonna try this out again we're going to break away the glass cover, turn the engine off, hit six, and then one. There we go, guys, and then deploy that parachute. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Wow, we were right next to it that time. Oh, my God. That was so cool. Look at this. 
that plane is going down and just look at that guys we are safely and slowly going back down to the ground and is that a oh my is that a wing guys i think there is a wing still flying around in the distance slowly trying to make its way to the ground all right here we go we are getting down to the ground okay geez all right so that wasn't uh that safe of a landing actually uh, but now that we've done it a few times, why don't we just spawn the plane and get a little bit closer of a look of what's going on. So here I'm going to be able to do it on the ground just to show you guys what is actually happening. So if I press the 5 key, you'll see the decoupler mod decouples the, uh, the actual glass cockpit right here. And it is no longer part of the uh, plane anymore. And so what we can do is we can just take this off the lift. Now I did have a thruster. You saw there was a thruster inside there that I used to try and aid in lifting the uh, cockpit over the jet. Now, I did have some issues with that. I ended up using pistons to push it up. Now, I find it's not too bad, though. If you uh, have the uh, cockpit there and you lift it up like so, uh, and then drop it right back down like this, it usually pops off no problem. And I even actually have uh, this thing right here. Now, it's kind of funny, actually. This is a seat. Now, when the cockpit is there, uh, you can get, obviously, into the seat through the uh, hole in the top. Now, when you are actually stuck in the cockpit, there's a seat right here. But this seat is also a secondary function because when I do try and release that cockpit, you can see it spins around. And when you have that forward momentum in the jet, uh, it actually helps lift it up and over really, really well. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. So that is actually just removing the cockpit. Now, obviously, the next step is releasing yourself from the plane in your seat. Now, this uses the de decoupler mod uh, uh, as well, but as you can see uh, underneath, there's a little bit more hidden in there. Obviously, there's a few things that we need to use. So if I press it right quick here, you'll see it should disconnect us. There it goes. And there you go. You can see now we only have two switches left, and they're in the bottom... Oh yeah, that's right. Sometimes I forget that it does that, actually. Oh boy, drop an FPS here. But uh, you can see now the switches are 1 and 2. So if we press the 2 key, <laughs> there it is. Your parachute will deploy. That's pretty pathetic when you're face down in the ground already. All right, now before I end the video, I want to do something that I've wanted to do with a jet in Scrap Mechanic for a long time, and that is strap a few missiles to it. And we're going to try and hit a target that I've set up on the ground there. So this is here. Just a very simple missile that you can weld to something and then all you have to do is wire a switch to the decoupler mod right here and it'll automatically set it all up to shoot it forward. Now that's all it does though is it goes forward. So I'm going to strap a few of these to the jet and then we're going to try and shoot something. Alright guys, here it is. We've got four of those missiles strapped onto this jet now, so I have them rigged up for eight and nine. Now, I'm pretty sure you're probably going to want to shoot these before you ever use your ejection seat. Now, I don't know what this is going to do or what it's going to look like, so we're just going to try it out here. Let's take off. We're going to reach the end of this ramp, and here we go. Alright, so it looks like... We're not too much heavier because of those missiles. That's one thing that I was concerned about was actually our weight. So let's see here now. Okay, there's the target, guys. I have it all set up. We just have to try and fly straight towards it. Okay, wait, I'm just going to do it. Eight, nine. Oh, come on. No way. I swear, guys, one of the missiles went directly underneath it. And the other missile is up against the wheel. I don't know. Let's get closer and see what happened. All right, here we go. We're just gonna inch our way. No way, guys. Are you kidding me? Look at this. The first missile went completely underneath it, and this missile just kind of stopped dead right in front of it. That is unreal. All right, I need some satisfaction here, though, guys. We're gonna try and blow that up. Uh, maybe? Yes, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so that was so much fun. I have to try it one more time, but this time, guys, we're gonna have a slightly bigger target and then just the leftover jet that doesn't have missiles anymore. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna hit something this time. Alright, here we go. It's round two of the ejection jet with missiles, guys. I'm really hoping we're gonna actually hit something here. Uh, and this time, I, I think I forgot to use strict follow cam last time. 
and I feel like that actually made it very difficult to shoot at it because I wasn't actually lined up until I moved my camera. So here we go. We're gonna swoop around just like so, level out. All right, this is looking good. Here we go, eight, nine. Oh no, I shot them too high up. Oh, okay, you know what, one more time, one more time. All right, so I think what I have to do is I have to release them a little bit earlier, get lined up, be ready to go, and then just do it. All right, here we go. I'm actually, I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the fence here as well. Uh, just to give myself that much more space. All right, here we go. Good thing this plane is very easy to fly. All right, we're pretty much lined up. I'm all ready to go here. Eight and nine. Come on. Oh, one just skid right by. Are you serious? Not gonna lie, guys. Might not be able to sleep tonight if I uh, don't actually make this shot here. It's, uh, it's kind of concerning me right now. All right, we're, I'm gonna do another attempt here, though. <laughs> Because it's almost like my mission now. You know, this jet and these missiles were designed for this one mission alone. I still can't believe that one just went right by it. So what if I look up a little bit more and like this? All right, here we go. Drop them. Come on, those were hits. Okay, you know what? I'm convinced that these just aren't exploding on contact. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm counting this one as a hit. It, it was a direct hit. Maybe uh, the explosive just isn't sensitive enough. I don't know, but I'm just happy that the missiles work pretty well. I was able to aim close enough to it so that, I mean, I was convinced it should have been a hit. But you know what, guys? I think uh, I might as well just do the work myself here and blow that truck up. Ah, perfect. So there you have it guys, that is the ejection seat jet, now with added missiles that work uh, when they want to, I think. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. If you guys did enjoy this build or the video, then make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, hop into orbit, and you will be seeing just that. So thanks again guys for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.